Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Gearhead Girl Garage where today we're going to show you how you can make this tire rack for your trailer. Alright, so to get started, you want to go ahead and make a rough idea of your design, take some measurements, and get some pipe. And you want to know what size wheels and tires that you're going to be mounting on your tire rack. Alright, so once you've got your measurements, you can take some chalk and kind of make out a pattern. You can see underneath here, get everything sized up the way you want it, and then get your metal and bend that according to your drawing. And now you just have to weld all that up. Alright, so once you have measured, cut, and welded your bits together, you can start getting ready to put it on the trailer. Alright, so once you've got your sides welded up together, you can take your tires and measure from the baseboard up to the top there, as far as where to place the connecting bars. Alright, so once you've measured and cut out your cross members, you can get a buddy to hold this and start welding them in. Alright, so a magnetic level can go a long way in making sure that you weld in the correct spot. Alright, so once again you want to check with your level. And the nice thing about this is you can bend it a little bit while you're tacking it up. Alright, so once you've got everything tacked together before you do your final welds, you might want to do a test fit. Make sure everything's happy. Alright, so you can see here everything is nice and welded together. You can go ahead and mount it to your trailer now or you can add some additional stabilizing bits. Alright, so we've got a car and we're just going to test that out and make sure our clearances are good before mounting it on the trailer. Now you can either weld your tire rack on to your trailer directly or you can weld on feet that allow it to be detachable. Alright, so you can go ahead and mount to your trailer. Alright, so once you've added any additional pieces or bracing that you wanted, you can hit any rusty metal with a wire wheel and buff it all nice back to clean metal and give it a protective coat of paint. Alright guys and gals, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys back for the next one. See ya! Be sure to hit the subscribe button and like and comment if you enjoyed this video. If you want to be awesome and provide support for better content, click on the Patreon link in the description below. Check us out online at GearheadGirl69.com or GHG69.com or follow us on Instagram and TikTok at GearheadGirl69.